Today we are going to read a story about another insect called a ladybug. And this story is called Ladybugs, Red, Fiery, and Bright by Mia Posada. Little round beetles with red coats and black spots crawl through gardens and trees and on flowers in pots. They are ladybugs. A crawling ladybug tickles your arm, but this little insect will cause you no harm. They are busy searching for food to eat. Tiny green insects called aphids taste sweet. So ladybugs like to eat other little um, insects called aphids and they live on many different plants. A ladybug may flee in fear from a hungry bird landing near, but eating a ladybug is a waste to birds. They have a terrible taste. When a female ladybug has eggs to be laid, she finds a safe place on a leaf in the shade. In five days, the yellow eggs will turn white. The hatching day is now within sight. So just like a butterfly lays eggs, a ladybug is able to lay eggs. Tiny creatures climb out from the creamy white eggs. They have hairy gray bodies and long skinny legs. They are called larvae. Hungry larvae search for food right away. They can eat 100 aphids a day. So when they hatch out of their eggs, do they look like ladybugs that we think of? Not to me, they don't. They're called larva. A larva skin cannot stretch, and since this is so, it must shed its old skin in order to grow. This is called molting. Its skin splits apart, the larva wiggles free. Its new larger skin fits more comfortably. Hmm, we just learned about somebody else who does this. Who else? Caterpillars, right. When a ladybug larva is almost full grown, it attaches itself to a plant or a stone. It molts one last time, the skin it outgrows. When it emerges, it has become something new. It's a pupa. The pupa is covered by a tough orange skin. It hides the changes taking place within. Its worm-like body is rounding out and its coat becomes smooth and tiny wings spread out. Hmm, similar in some ways to something else we just learned about. In five days, the pupa shell starts to crack. The beetle crawls out with no spots on its back. Soon black spots come into sight. The yellow coat turns to red, fiery, and bright. The new ladybug spreads its wings out to dry. A few hours pass, then it's able to fly. Its spotted wings covers move off to the sides. It beats its wings and away it glides. So its wings are actually underneath that red spotted shell that it has on it. The new ladybugs with red coats and black spots crawl through the gardens and trees and on flower pots. More about ladybugs. It says there are many different kinds of ladybugs. Some are red, orange, or yellow with black spots or patterns. Others are black with red or yellow marks. Shown here are a few of the many types of ladybugs that there are. So here's a closer look so you guys can see all the different types, that's pretty cool.
ladybugs are members of a large group of insects called beetles. And sometimes ladybugs are also called ladybird beetles. Their name dates back hundreds of years to the Middle Ages. And it says that ladybugs are active in the spring and the summer and their lifespan is about three weeks. At the end of the summer, when the cold weather begins, ladybugs hibernate or rest quietly in large groups. They may hibernate in safe places, such as inside hollow logs or under rocks, and when the temperature warms up, the ladybugs become active again. Ladybugs also protect themselves by lying on their backs and folding up their legs and pretending like they might be dead, but it's just a way for them to protect themselves from other predators. So those are some pretty neat things and pretty cool how there's all these different types of ladybugs. Hey.